Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today we are going to do some setup for Svelte TypeScript. And we're going to be using Vite, and we're going to be using Tailwind and Daisy UI, and we're going to mesh them all together and then um, show you how to set it up. And then we'll be building a project with this later on. So to get started, we're going to be using Vite and Svelte. Right now, they don't have the template. They only have the template view here, but we can just go through the steps by just doing this part of it, this command. So go into VS Code, make sure you're in the, the folder that you want this project in. And then we just paste in that command and we name our project. In this case, I'll name it Svelte Vite Setup. And then it should take us through a couple steps here. We want Svelte and then we want Svelte TypeScript. So there we go. And it already set up our project super quick. It's right here. And now we want to add Tailwind to it. So to add Tailwind to it, just go here. We want the um, using post CSS configuration and uh, do the npm install for it. It's just this command. And we also want a Tailwind config file. And that's what the mpx Tailwind init is for. So we'll paste that in there. And it should give us the files that we need. Um, Actually, that was not right because I'm not CD'd into our project. So that kind of sucks. Make sure you CD into your project. It's felt byte setup. So there we go. Now we're <laughs> now we can npm install our Tailwind post CSS auto prefixer and Tailwind CSS. And then it will actually go into the correct <laughs> the correct project. So there we go. We have our Tailwind and then this warning is for using CommonJS instead of JS. So we will just change that for our Tailwind file. Use common, common JavaScript. And then it goes away. Next thing, we need our post CSS config.js. And it didn't make, a, make it for us. So we will have to make that. Now it's too hard. Just go post css.config.cjs. This one also has to be a common JavaScript file and then save that so that should be good there next thing it says is to add the content so we'll just copy that line and we will go back in to svelte config actually no tailwind config and content where that array is put that in there and then we also want to check for typescript files and svelte files so we'll save that and then the last thing we need to do is we need to add at tailwind base components and utilities and this can either go into a main.css file or what I like to do is just put it into our app and put it into our style tag here. I'll delete all these styles that it comes with and we'll make sure it's global. And we will also make sure that it's language equals post CSS. And we will paste that in there, save it. And then now we should be using Tailwind. So if I go into, actually, let's get rid of this counter and let's let's make a button. Sure, let's make a button. We'll give it a class equal to padding ten and margin. Actually, we we'll have px of ten and py of three. And then we'll also give it a background color. Background color of let's do let's do red. Go red 500 just so that it clearly stands out and we'll name it tailwind save that and then we will start this up with just npm run dev and then we should be able to go to localhost 3000 and it should show up so there's our tailwind button great it's got the background and it's got the padding on it so so great now we know that tailwind is working next up we need to add daisy ui so just go to daisyui.com and then go to install. We need to install with npm i daisy UI. Um, let's end this, paste that in. There we go, we have daisy UI in there now. And then in tailwind config, inside of our plugins, we need to require it. So we'll go require daisy UI, shows up. And then we should have daisy UI now, now installed. So we can use their styles. Um, let's try making a daisy UI button. We'll go button dot button and we'll give it a button primary color. 
and we'll say primary button and we will also do a secondary button because why not button dot button dot button secondary and we'll go secondary button great and then we will restart our server or restart our um, project go to localhost 3000 again and there we go we have Daisy UI successfully installed it has their buttons um, their light theme buttons so not cupcake we'll go light theme it has these buttons right here and if we go to their components these buttons right here fantastic now if we want to customize this we just go to customize components or themes themes is better so if we want to add a theme we can use this right here copy all this because we're just going to change the colors up and this goes into our tailwind.config.cjs file right here and we want to add that right under theme so there we go if we want our primary buttons to be a different color let's say we want it to be to be red so rgb so we'll just do that and it'll be red and primary focus will be like a maybe a darker red so ed0000 yeah we can change our content so if we want our primary content to be black we can do that and i have some extensions that will highlight these colors for me so that's really nice and it restarted let's see if it changed the colors of those yep so our primary button is now red and has black content on it so that's great but it actually shouldn't though i think since this is called my theme i need to change index.html to use data theme my theme so it actually shouldn't have changed it right now um, i had to actually add data theme equaling to my theme here and then it should work but yeah just make sure you add the data theme there and then it should work i don't know why mine worked <laughs> um, if i have this just be my then it should default to light again um, if i refresh hmm, still using that interesting maybe i actually have to add light that's what i have to do i have to add light in so if i go into tailwind config Right now I, it has these themes and it's in an array. I can also add in the light theme. This comes up with Daisy UI. I can also add the dark theme, which also comes with Daisy UI. And then it should default to the one of those ones. Yep, so right there, that's the light theme, I believe. Maybe it's the dark theme because the background got, got all dark. Let's see here, what's the dark theme? Yeah, it's actually the dark theme. Oh, cool. Oh well. So I guess it takes the second one then. What if I switch these around? Um, it still is the dark theme, so whatever. But that's pretty neat. And then it also gives us a way to change themes. So if we want to change themes, we can use this theme change library. Yeah, it just says to add the data theme here, and then it should change it. But if you want it to be your custom theme, then whatever you name your theme, you just add it to the data theme inside index.html. So I think here, and then we'll use our custom theme, as you can see. Great. So I'm excited to see what you guys can build with this. I think it's a great framework. I think Daisy UI and Tailwind CSS go together like, like a glove. And yeah, they're great technologies to work with. I've been pretty impressed with Tailwind. Tailwind has these different things you can do with it. For example, if I wanted to, let's say, give this a margin left, I can add whatever I want here so I can do like 400 pixels and then it actually changes it to margin left 400 pixels just whatever custom thing we put in here so that's really cool and if I save that then it should be applied and there we go we put our 400 pixels of, of margin left on there so that's really cool really have been enjoying Tailwind and thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something and I will see you next time bye